Hey Libra, this is Sunny from Sunny Glow LLC and I'm here with your June 2017 reading. Alright, so let's see what's going on for you guys for June. I'm okay, I'm getting this phrase plenty is enough. So maybe you guys it's like you may be working really really hard to overachieve a goal it's just like you want to make sure you have enough so you know you're going to go overboard to have extra but just just know that sometimes you have to take a break or you know just plenty is enough you can take that you want to you're tired i'm hearing some of you say i'm tired of being misled i'm tired of you know, feeling empty or being in poverty. Some of y'all are just feeling like things are closing in on you. Maybe it's bills, maybe it's people, maybe it's darkness. Um, some of y'all may be framed as the bad guy this month there may be some issues of you feeling victimized as well these are general readings so if it resonates just keep it dear to your heart it's just like everything is on you like you're you're just tired you want to feel grounded you want to feel like instead of things being on top of you, you want to be on top of things. So that may be why many of you, it's like you're working hella, hella hard. I just feel like a lot of you are surrounded with paper. Like whether you're catching up or just you have a lot of work this month. But I just see y'all just like on top of like pieces of paper. Especially if you have like an office type of job or you know, you, you deal with foul paperwork maybe um that you have issues with the printer and it's just like oh my god i need to reprint out all of this stuff it's just like borderline malfunction with something i am seeing where you guys will have the ability to you know be on top of things but don't panic don't overreact you know when when something goes a bit haywire like just say, okay, I got it. Let me just get it done. Just get it done. Just get it done. I keep picking up on breasts. I don't know if you guys will, there will be an attraction to breast, or if there's issues with the breast, um, or if someone's breastfeeding or like needing new bras. There's some things that you guys need to get off your chest. Um, some issues that's been weighing in very heavily on your heart. Um, okay, <laughs> Lord, fix it, Jesus. I'm getting like that song. I don't know who it's by, but it's like, I'm coming to you as a woman. Um, basically, like, you know, I found your number uh, in my man's pocket. And, you know, I want to know what the hell going on. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Leo um, or like maybe another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius, like where like you're catching them cheating on you or vice versa, just flip it to how it is. Um, or maybe like you wish you would have been man enough or woman enough in a particular situation. Or someone would be man enough or woman enough to come to you with respect. There's a lot of like, okay, it's the principle. It's, you know, it's the audacity that they would do that to me. Like some of you are coming off that way. So there may be some issues like with ego and pride, especially with dealing with other people if there is deception um, and lies involved. And this could be like work-wise, relationship-wise, family-wise, whatever the case would be. All right, give me three cards for Libras. For June 2017. Let's see. June 2017. 
for Libras. It's like you guys are trying to fit a circle through a triangle. Even if you try to force that damn circle through the triangle, it's not going to work. So some of y'all are just trying to force some shit because it's what you want. You know, some of y'all just saying may not get your way this month or you're going to have to really think outside the box. And if something doesn't make sense, if something doesn't fit, you're going to have to figure out other ways to make it happen. All right. But the main thing, and also the cards are flipping. I want to flip them when I get to that section. But the main thing for you guys for the month of June, books. Interesting. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Now, these are life purpose cards. So, yeah. Um, some of y'all just need to take the time to do your research. Really interesting because the Virgos got the study card and also the Aquarius. And Aquarius is a fellow air sign and Virgos are like right beside you guys in the zodiac. So that's really cool. So there's this there's this energy of you know like really needing to understand your brain, allowing things to process, allowing for you to just like maybe see proof or like you know come to terms with proof or come to terms with the reality of a particular situation. Maybe you guys just need to sit down and just you know read upon something if you aren't sure about how to do something or how something works you know it's okay to do your research it's okay for you to say i don't know what to do i don't know where to go during this time maybe some of y'all like you just wish people would think like just you all just need to think it's like you're overthinking you're overreacting like just chill just chill breathe let it come to you use common sense okay um but maybe some of y'all you're thinking about going back to school um maybe you just need to like just sit down and just calm your mind there's a little song by boozy i don't i don't listen to him but i know people who listen to him and it's like smoking on purple is my mind <laughs> so maybe some of y'all just need to like ease y'all's mind but do it in a very centering gaining wisdom type of way this month just really wants you guys to be sure of your own knowledge your own wisdom your own dedication towards something and like you know just make sure that you aren't just overly doing things because you're just panicking i just feel like you guys are in panic mode this month all right but let's see what's in, in store interesting in store for you guys for this month so we have fertility, which is the empress. And it's funny because I was talking about the breast. I was going to talk about the heart chakra, but I just talked about the Leo instead. I felt the heart chakra energy, so it's kind of interesting. Emotion, not emotions, girl. Um, memories of love, six of cups, power, um, which is the strength card, aka the Leo card. So that's really interesting. So some of y'all may be dealing with a Leo, or you have Leo within your chart. Um... But yeah, I'm just seeing where you guys just really need to give love back to yourself. And you just need to be surrounded by people who are, you know, willing to be genuine with you. Like, that's, that's with all you want. Like, you're, you're tired of games. You're tired of laudering. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's just what I heard. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe some of y'all playing the lottery who knows um but it, there's a sense of you taking a gamble and i don't know if i said this for you guys last month i do see where there may be issues with mother or a woman figure who you've been with for a very long time this woman is very headstrong but she's holding a lot in. I am getting this energy where there's a sense of you guys just needing needing to surrender from your ego, like what ego wants, what ego strives for. And this may be success, striving for power. Um, so I'm hearing some of y'all want permission to do something. 
Like, you, you want to feel like you, like, maybe you're giving someone permission to do something, but there's this sense of, like, access, gaining access. But it's coming off, like, in a very intimidating way. Like, maybe someone comes to you and they're like, hey, can I go to the store? No. No, you can't go to the store. I feel like there's a sense of intimidation. Like, you know, some of y'all feel like you can't do something because of someone over top of you or like maybe you're trying to place fear in somebody else's life, you know, just speaking. And this may be and this may even be at work. Like maybe you guys are getting denied, you know, to do particular things. I feel like this is going to be um, a weird time for my women, especially if you are in a place of power, like if you're a manager um, or like you're well known, like there's something about your image that comes off intimidating to other men. Or maybe like you're just very beautiful and like there's men that like just criticize you and say, oh, you would be prettier if you were skinnier. You would be prettier if you were lighter or you were, or, or if you were darker or that's not your real hair. That's not your real eyes. Is it like, I don't know. I just feel like there's a sense of like women being torn down by men who have issues within themselves. Whether it's like you're being physically torn down, mentally torn down, whatever the case may be. But I'm also seeing for my men, like, you guys may grow a soft spot for your moms. And maybe and maybe even for my women as well. Um, like, you know, you're going to realize how much carrying a child is really hard work. And, you know, how mothers play almost every significant role within your life they're your nurse they're your doctor they're your friend they're your mom they're your teacher like you're i feel like y'all are just appreciating just women that's song by tupac you are appreciated is playing in my hair dear mama yeah okay so that confirms thank you for confirming that for me um some of you there may be issues like with your mom being sick you know something about the mom like bringing bringing attention to the mom and or mothers that um gives you you know the reason to really appreciate them much more i i believe father's day is and um <laughs> it's in june yeah, i don't i don't keep up with father's day to be honest no tea to the dads out there but <laughs> um you know maybe you know some of y'all like you were raised by your mom and your mom was like your dad and your mom all at once so I don't know. I just feel like mothers are going to be highlighted for some reason in the month of June. Um, but back to this whole healing deal. Like many of y'all, like you just you just need to heal. There's an energy of you just wanting to be alone or needing to be alone to just like gather yourself and you know understand your thoughts. I'm hearing like big Nana, big mama. Like if this person is deceased, she may be around you a lot this month. Or if she is a Libra herself, like you're giving thanks to um, your big mama or big Nana or me ma, you know, whatever you, <laughs> whatever you call her. But you're understanding life and you're appreciating, you know, where you came from and, you know, the women within your family who are very strong. I do see for some of you is you're you're really going to think a lot, you know, about the past and you know trying to understand where it all began, you know, like with you, like you know you're thinking about like when you were a kid. I see like some of y'all looking back on old pictures, like I'm seeing like afros and bell bottoms and like platform shoes. <laughs> And it's just like, mom, you really dressed like that? Or dad, you really dressed like that? Or, you know, damn, I really dressed like that? That's a fool. I, I don't know why. I, I just feel like many of y'all are just going down memory lane. I do see where there's this energy of you really 
finding that light that you've been looking for maybe you've been feeling as if um you've been in the dark for a very long time and it's just like there's a switch things change the energy changes, and you just get this feeling of okay this makes sense now things are clear now I, I get it i know what i need to do i feel like this month just wants you guys to just find peace within everything like stop fighting with yourself stop battling with other people um stop going against the grain like just just deal with things peacefully honestly um Especially if you have like other other um, air signs in your chart, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, especially Aquarius, where they're all about like you know doing things for the greater good for other people. They're all about humanity. So you know if you have Aquarius in your chart, or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you guys are just gonna just be in this mode of just like there's this song by Michael Jackson, "We Are the One" that's deeply playing in my head. I'm just getting like so distracted with this video, but. With that being said, you know, you guys are going to go through some wrenches within this month that, you you know, you really can't control, but it's just all about how you react to it, to be honest. But in regards to power, I do see where some of y'all, you, you know, you're going to have to fight with that negative side, like the devil and the angel. Like, which one do you prefer to listen to the most during this time? Like, which one makes more sense? Interesting how I just pulled out the strength card on top of the strength card. So, yeah, it really confirms. There's a sense of imbalancement where you guys just need to, you know, really understand how to either, like, knowing when to take charge, knowing when to back down. Like, it's all about timing and just understanding, you know, your mind frame within that time. You guys are growing. You are, you are growing. But I'm seeing where some of y'all are in deep thought about, okay, what do I do? What, what can I do? In regards to, like, your reaction upon things. Or in regards to the timing upon things. I do see where some of you guys are receiving good karma and good blessings. Things are coming back around for you guys. Um, and it may come back through finances and or understanding the bigger picture within your life i do see where some of y'all you may have dealings with um maybe even a leo or an earth sign capricorn Taurus, and virgo where you're watching this person grow or they're going through the next stage um of life but i have to say this whether it's death or illness or you know you're you're watching this person just involve spiritually like they have this beautiful glow about them, the sense of radiation. I'm also seeing where, you know, some of y'all, you just don't want to go back to, you know, feeling less fortunate, feeling like you don't matter, like you don't want to deal with that anymore. Some of y'all, it is time for you to grow and it is time for you to expand. Maybe, you know, you're you've been in this particular field for a very long time and or you've been in this you know particular area or state for a very long time but there's a sense of you needing to get up and move it's like okay now you've been wanting change you have to make that change but change must start with either career or just moving there's a sense of you moving Some of y'all feel weighed down to a particular person. And it's just like you're dealing. You have a lot going on. And when one little thing goes wrong. Or when one person comes at you indirectly. Or whatever the case may be. It's just like you bite their head off. And you may find yourself taking your anger and pain out on other people. So be a bit careful about that because I am seeing where that's going to cause some tension, especially if you overreact at work. Yeah. I'm also getting um, issues where some of you guys may have court this month. 
or you're just going to need to find just a proper balance. I do feel like if you have court, let me go back. If you go, if you have court, it's going to be a fair case. Whether it's fair for you or fair for the other person or hell, the judge is like split it 50 50, whatever the case would be. I just feel like it's going to be fair. Like both parties are going to be happy or like whatever the case would be like it's or it's going to be fair karmically. You can take that you want to um, in regards to court. But with you guys um, just reacting towards things, just just balance yourself out. Just breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Just balance yourself out, okay? I'm also seeing where some of y'all, um, there's a really good, uh, this is a really good time for charity. And, you know, giving thanks to other people. Like, just expanding, expanding, giving out, giving out, giving out to other people. Like maybe like donations going to like um the soup kitchen kind of do like just giving your time i'm also seeing where um some of y'all may be dealing with a fire sign aries say yes sagittarius is. but you're 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 moving on from this fire sign energy or the tension isn't as bad with this fire sign like it's calming down it's calming down but i feel like many of y'all are just leaving this person behind or they're leaving you behind in regards to memories i just feel like some of y'all just want to go back in time when you were a kid just because like that's when it was fun i i just keep seeing like 70 images or like old polar word pictures where like like little kids are outside they have on their short shorts and their little striped shirts and afros or like their little um, fair faucet type of hairstyle, the hot socks, and like they're just outside, just they're playing, they're they're having fun, like they're partying, like y'all just want to go back to that because right now things are weird. If you find yourself constantly thinking about the past, whether you're bringing in past people or like I said, you're just thinking about you know what the things that you've done when you were a child teenager and young adult that is because something isn't right with your present you feel off kennel within your present so you know understand what's going on within your present and why you feel the way that you feel right now but i do see where many of you you are going to gain this sense of reality like okay i need to come back to reality i need to like just really get a grip upon things i do see where some of y'all need to move but it's just like i don't know where to go I don't know what to do. Timing. Many of y'all waiting upon timing. Don't be stubborn. I, I am seeing where some of y'all don't want to make changes. But you're going to have to eventually. Like maybe these changes are scary. Maybe you're afraid of making the wrong decision. And going down the wrong path. Maybe you guys made decisions like long time ago in this is biting you in the ass now and you're like why did I do that why did I do that but you're you're learning from it I'm seeing where many of y'all like you just you're in this place where you know it's you you gotta start at the bottom again and that's okay and that's okay it's like you're revamping yourself but y'all, some of y'all need to get the hell out of your head, though. You need to get the hell out of your head because you're really creating confusion for yourself. In regards to fertility, some of y'all may have, um, okay, I'm hearing issues. There may be some issues with conceiving. Some of y'all may have issues with mother, just saying. But I'm also seeing where unexpected pregnancies can happen. Or early births. I will say that much. There's something new that you guys will enter into. And, you know, this may be a new location. This may be a new job. And maybe even going back to school. But I'm seeing where you guys are going to really understand what you're supposed to do within this lifetime. You guys are definitely being guided. You just need to trust more in your divine God and angels. 
understand that they're there I, I just feel like you guys are gonna have epiphanies or like messages that is like it's gonna be like someone is literally just speaking to you and it's going to allow for you to get out of this weird headspace I'm hearing don't fight the feeling don't fight the feeling don't fight the fact that you need to change or you need to like something about you being stubborn here we go again being stubborn being stubborn to change being stubborn with letting people in it's, it's okay it's okay to let people in but just let the right people in you will know your divine god and angels will give you signs letting you know there's a lot of signs coming forth I just feel like y'all are just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But it's because it's just like you're overreacting. It's like you aren't taking the time to figure out what to do. But then time, you guys will understand why everything is happening. You will understand that Matters of the heart are very important to deal with. And I feel like y'all will be able to like open up to someone or like let someone in, like even a stranger. I just feel like there's going to be like great gratitude with you helping out people you don't even know or like maybe with a stranger helping you out, whether it's like they pay for your food at a grocery store or like at a restaurant. I just feel like just people helping out other people will show you hey there's still goodness within the world and I just feel like you guys just need that but you're going to have to see the good within yourself as well okay you're going to have to realize that you're capable enough to do whatever you want it's just just because something is going a weird and haywire like just doesn't mean that you have to like bottle it in or hate yourself or like just react abruptly all the time but your divine god and angels are blessing you like they're really helping you guys out this month like i really feel like they are just appreciate it all right hope you guys enjoyed this reading good luck with everything and i should be back for july bye